What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Super Cooper Sunday! Woo! It's so exciting Cooper, yeah! Oh my goodness, you almost didn't fit through there. Anyway guys, today we have kind of a fun episode planned. We've been thinking about it a lot over the past couple days and kind of coming up with ideas and things we wanted to include in this video and uh, we really hope you guys enjoy it. So the thing is, is that all dogs have personalities, right? Like more so than a lot of people would think. Like you don't really know it until you have a dog. Obviously in terms of breeds, they have certain characteristics and stuff that are universal for that breed, but every individual dog always has his own unique little quirks and, and things that he does. And we wanted to share that with you guys because obviously you guys love these two boys but you don't live with them every day. You don't see what we deal with every single day, all the little nuances and things that they do. So we were thinking that we would start today's episode and mainly focus on Cooper, and then if you guys like the idea, we can also do Coda. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so obviously golden retrievers are known to love balls. Like they, they love retrieving them, they love playing fetch, they love everything about them, and Cooper is no stranger to that. Tennis balls are his favorite thing in the world. And I'm sure some of you guys have seen that meme online that's like the, the no take only throw. He is seriously the embodiment of that meme. He does it every single time. So go ahead and throw it. He's definitely gonna go fetch it. Good boy. He's coming back, and you guys will see. He wants you to throw it again. Oh, he's actually, he's going to part two. Hold on, we're gonna to cut to that. So this is another one of his quirks, that this was actually the second thing on my list, but he's already playing it. So you guys can see, we've got the tennis ball there. This is one of his favorite games in the world. So what he does is he goes up to the middle section of our stairs, and he drops the tennis ball, which you guys just saw rolling over there. Chelsea's picked it up, and she's gonna throw it up to him. But watch what happens. He always refuses to catch it. He's gonna pick it up and watch. He's gonna act like he's gonna chew on it. And then he's gonna drop it and let it roll back down. It's his favorite thing. It One of. Look at that nose, look at that nose. Watch. Oops, it slipped out. Oh no, what are we gonna do about that? Now you guys know, Cooper is really, really good at catching everything, whether it's a tennis ball or a treat or like even crazy stuff like we've thrown pizza at his face and he always catches it. It's something he's really good at, but every single time you try to throw this ball to him when he's on the top of the stairs, he refuses to catch it. Get a good throw where it's gonna hit him in the face because he just, he lets it hit him in the face every single time. Third time's a charm. You can hit him square in the middle of the face and he will not try to catch it. It's the weirdest thing. Hold he'd there, he'd Hold rather watch it. Yeah, here, Coop, come here. Come here. Come down here. Now we'll catch it. Sit. Sit. Okay, so back to my first thing I was gonna tell you guys about that he so rudely interrupted. You guys are gonna see, he's gonna come back here and he wants you to throw the ball again. He loves fetch, but he is not ready to part with the ball. Cooper, what are you doing? Come on, bring it back. <laughs> he wants you to throw it again, but he's not gonna let you take it from his mouth. So here we go. Let me, let me have it. I can't, I can't, I can't throw it unless, oh. you, uh, <laughs> you have to physically remove it from his mouth before you can throw it again. And you guys can see, he's happy right now. He's excited to go get it again. <laughs> he loves this game, but he won't let you take the ball from him. So on the opposite side, you have to throw the ball for Cooper to take it. He won't just take it from you. Here, he gave it back. We'll do it again. He turns his head like, no, I'm too good for that tennis ball. And then you drop it and he's like, oh my God. Good boy. Okay, so next up is Cooper does not let you put his toys away. When you try to put the toys away, he will go to the toy basket and take them out one by one until he has everything 
back out again, all right? So I'm gonna sit over here and conspicuously with the camera. He also doesn't care, he doesn't want the toy. Right, he just, doesn't he want just wants it out, it. right. Put it away, see what he does. <laughs> no. Let's wait till we get all the toys put away. And we'll see what happens. And notice he was playing with his pig. That was the only toy he was truly interested in. He's going, he's going back for more. If we weren't standing here, he would totally get them all back out. If I went upstairs and like went to the bathroom or something right now, when I came downstairs, all the same toys would be out. And it's always the same toys. Cleaning up in this house never actually works. The next thing is, is that Cooper is an absolute attention hog. And I think this is kind of like mainly a golden thing, but Cooper is like above and beyond most of the goldens that I've met. So any attention for anything else or anyone else, is not acceptable, it has to be for him. So you guys are gonna see Chels is gonna pretend like she's working on the computer and I'm sure he's gonna come in and need some attention very soon. He's already started, okay. I mean, yeah, well, he's gonna be he's as close creeped. as possible. He tries to be subtle, but it, it's not subtle. Yeah, <laughs> you guys will see. You're supposed to be playing with him. Now this holds true for both of us for pretty much everything. If Chelsea is in the kitchen cooking, Cooper is right there jumping up on the counters trying to get her attention. If I'm in my office gaming, there's at least like three or four times a day that he'll come in and lay his head on my knee until I give him attention. And you guys have actually seen it in some of the videos in the past. I'll see if I can capture that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it. I'll try to keep the camera in there tomorrow. But um, another thing he hates is when Coda gets attention. Good boy, yes it is. Yes it is, that's a good boy. Oh. Here's Cooper, he's got a toy for me. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, Coda. Good boy, you're the boy, yes, yes, yes. His objective was to get a toy, to get Coda excited, to get him away from me so Cooper can get more attention. It happens every single time. Not just with Coda. He has nothing against Coda. He just doesn't think that anybody's attention needs to be on anyone but him. So yeah, he just, for whatever reason, he hates it. Sometimes when we're like laying in bed in the morning or something, just waking up, I'll blow on his ears and it'll get him all riled up and ready for the day. So it's just, it's kind of funny. Hey. I'm not even doing it, he just thinks I'm going to. As you guys can see, it really sets him off. Now, speaking of the morning time, this is one of his most talkative times of the day. So there are breeds out there that are known for talking. I think like Huskies in particular, and there are quite a few others. But Goldens, I feel like, aren't really known for talking, but Cooper talks a lot. And when I say talk, he doesn't like howl or anything. He grumbles. Now, it happens all the time randomly throughout the day. I don't know how we're gonna end up catching a random one, but you can actually get him to talk to you just by grumbling at him. So let's see if we can do this. Coop, what's up? You watching the jet ski out there? There's a guy flying around in the jet ski. Anyway, here we go, Cooper. Arr, 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 arr. 
He's doing a little bit more of a bark here, but sometimes he has this really, really low, deep rumble that lasts for a long time. Talk to us. Well, you know what? I got him to do it last night with my swimsuit. I made swimsuit and I was like playing with him and then he did it. Really? He talks all the time. He talks when he's happy, when he like, when you give him a treat or give him a toy. He talks when he's grumpy with you, when like he doesn't want you to get out of bed and stop cuddling. He talks over everything. And now that we're trying to get him to do it on camera, he's not doing the one I'm looking for. You guys are seeing that he's like barking and doing a little bit of a grunt, but it's not quite the one I'm talking about. Okay, apparently he's in a barking mood today. Usually there's fewer barks and more of like the low grumbles and whines and it really it's it's almost like a pig grunt and he like he's like like that sort of thing. I don't know, it's really weird. But you guys get the idea of what he does. It's dinner time. They each know their colored bowls. Cooper's is orange and Coda's is purple. You can see how excited Cooper is. You guys will see that he'll start doing circles for his food when he gets Back really, up. really excited. Back up. Back, Back up. up, Cooper. Back up. <laughs> you guys can see. It's a little food dance. Yep, it's his little food dance. Sometimes he'll do multiple, sometimes he'll only do one. There's always at least one spin in there, so you guys know what that means. He'd be a great FaZe Clan dog. Just kidding, he doesn't vlog. And the last thing we have for you guys is that he loves food more than any other animal I've ever met, or person, or anything. So much so that even when he's eating something that isn't good to him, like a lemon, even though I personally like eating lemons, but anyway, it's very, very sour, obviously. Even when he's eating something that he doesn't really want, he will continue to eat it just because it's food. So you guys are gonna see this in action. Let's come over here, we have some better light. Okay, he caught it, he doesn't like it. It's sour, but he's gonna eat it. But wait, it's sour. But he's gonna drop it because it's sour. Watch, he's gonna go back for it. You just wait. Went back for it? Oh, nope, it's sour. Nope, not. Maybe, maybe in another like 10 seconds we can check it again. Oh, oh, nope, it's sour. <laughs> and he will keep doing that all day long until it's gone or until we take it away from him. So, I mean, sometimes he gets like a little little something from the kitchen or whatever else that he's not supposed to have, and he will keep trying it until he's he... He's begging me for it. Yeah, he no, he wants want it again. It, now he wants it. You know what he does get is a cookie for being a good boy. There you go, buddy. All right, so there you guys have it. Those, my friends, are just some of Cooper's quirks, the little crazy things that he does. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, we're gonna catch you guys later. If you guys did enjoy it and you guys would like to see more of this from Coda's perspective, then feel free to let us know through comments and through likes. And if you guys want us to make it happen, we definitely can. So we're going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.